Welcome back to Ethno Mathematics. In Ethno Mathematics, we consider the context of the learners. Thus, it is important for us to be familiar with the standards issued on the implementation of contextualization in basic education. The implementation of contextualization may be anchored on two Republic Acts, and these are RA 9155, or the Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001, and RA 10533, or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013. The Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001, Section 2, encourages local initiatives for improving the quality of basic education. Further, schools and learning centers shall be empowered to make decisions on what is best for the learners they serve. The Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, Section 5, also indicates that the basic education curriculum must be contextualized and global. Both RA9155 and RA10533 highlight the understanding of local context. In order to have a clear understanding of the terminologies used, the Department of Education issued Department Order 32, Series of 2015. That includes the definitions of localization, contextualization, and indigenization. Contextualization refers to the educational process of relating the curriculum to a particular setting, situation, or area of application to make the competencies relevant, meaningful, and useful to all learners. The degree of contextualization may be described and distinguished into the following. The first one is localization. This one refers to the process of relating learning content specified in the curriculum to local information and materials in the learner's community. The second one, indigenization, refers to the process of enhancing curriculum competencies, educational resources, and teaching learning processes in relation to the biogeographical historical, and socio-cultural context of the learner's community. Indigenization may also involve the enhancement of the curriculum framework, curriculum design, and learning standards of subject areas guided by the standards and principles adhered to in the national curriculum. In mathematics, the achievement of our twin goals, critical thinking and problem solving, must take into consideration the learner's context. Contexts include beliefs, environment, language, culture, and learners' prior knowledge and experience. To localize and indigenize mathematics teaching, we need to remember that localization involves the use of local materials and local information. On the other hand, indigenization is a bit broader. It may entail curriculum enhancement. Also, one of these elements must be present, biogeographical, historical, or sociocultural context. Here are some examples provided by the Department of Education. For the competency, visualizes, represents, and identifies unit of fractions with denominators of 10 and below, Localization can be done by using local materials to visualize fractions. These local materials may be fruits in season such as watermelon or local cacanin. For indigenization, social cultural context may be used. Specifically, community cultural practices that involve fractions are used to visualize fractions. Here is another example. The competency is visualize the ratio of two given numbers. Localization can be done by using easily observable examples of ratio in the community. Indigenization may include community activities or cultural practices that inherently use the concept of ratio. For example, bringing products to the market entails using a carabao carrying sacks. Learners can then create a ratio of 1 carabao to x sacks. Now that you have seen these examples, I hope that you are inspired to go local when you teach mathematics.